Ellen, Larry, Summer is saying it's going to be the secondary and the tertiary and, and, and so forth effects. However, we are starting to get tariffs actually hitting from next month. At what point does it hit the real economy? Yeah, so we're seeing it play out today. Um, market sentiment, risk-off sentiment, the market impacts are apparent, but there's been no impact on the real economy yet. We haven't actually put in place uh, these tariffs yet. Um, but on July 6th, 34 billion of the first 50 billion announced that hit more than 800 products, uh, 800 Chinese goods, gets implemented. So we estimate that by the end of this year, that is impacting GDP growth by one tenth. Now you might say, so what? All right, the economy has been fundamentally sound. We're getting good real data on the economy. But there can be cumulative impacts that start to build here. What about the next round of 50 billion, the next round of 50 billion? What about the 200 billion, the 10 percent on 200 billion that President Trump announced last night? And then the kicker would be if you add auto tariffs to all of that, um, which we have readied in our pocket to deploy depending on what Europe's response is to the expiry of the steel and aluminum uh, tariff exemption. Um, and so you can start to see how these impacts build on one another. And certainly we know that the Federal Reserve has not taken into account possible trade impacts in their outlook. Uh, Chair Powell at most saying, look, what was a low risk before has probably become a more prominent risk. Um, but I doubt that any of the policymakers have started to think about these impacts in terms of how it might be reflected in their outlook. But Certainly, going into that September meeting, they've got to build in these July 6 tariffs that are set to take place. Does this continue to escalate? I mean, I know it's difficult to know what the president is going to do next, but there are 39 legislative days before the midterms. Can he afford to, or the opposite, does he want to? Well, I think. We are certainly in an escalatory phase right now. It's hard to argue any differently. Um, but whether we can or not get to the next sort of de-escalation in this will depend on how the negotiations play out or what the response is from other global leaders. Um, our expectation is that we do get to a de-escalatory phase, but it's not going to be before we get some rounds of tariffs that go into place. Uh, and so I think certainly I don't rest easy, and I don't think anyone should rest easy saying, well, this is just the typical tactics. These are how the negotiations play out. This is sort of how you play the game. Um, because, of course, there is the risk that escalation never gets to that de-escalatory phase.